Thailand is a wonderful place with lots of beautiful people just like you. But did you know that we have right here people from all over the world, each with their own culture, so diverse and so unique. So please, allow me to be your host today as we go check out the local Mexican scene. How does that sound? Arale, vamos! Mexico. Officially, the United Mexican States is a federal republic in North America. It is bordered on the north by the United States, on the south and west by the Pacific Ocean, on the southeast by Guatemala, Belize, and the Caribbean Sea. Covering almost 2 million square kilometers, Mexico is the fifth largest country in the Americas by the total area and the 13th largest independent nation in the world. With an estimated population of 113 million, it is the 11th most populous and the most populous Spanish-speaking country in the world. Mexico is a federation comprising 31 states and a federal district, the capital city, my hometown. In pre-Columbian Mexico, many cultures matured into advanced civilizations such as the Olmec, the Toltec, the Ototihuacan, the Zapotec, the Maya, and the Aztec before first contact with Europeans. In 1521, the Spanish Empire conquered and colonized the territory from its base in Mexico Tenochtitlan, which was administered as a vice royalty of New Spain. This territory would eventually become Mexico following recognition of the colony's independence in 1821. The post-independence period was characterized by economic instability, the Mexican-American War that led to the territorial cession to the United States, the Pastry War, the Franco-Mexican War, a civil war, two empires and a domestic dictatorship. The latter led to the Mexican Revolution in 1910, which culminated with the promulgation of the 1917 Constitution and the emergence of the country's current political system. In March 1938, through the Mexican oil expropriation, private U.S. and Anglo-Dutch oil companies were nationalized to create the state-owned Pemex Oil Company. Mexico has one of the largest economies in the world. It is the 10th largest oil producer in the world, the largest silver producer in the world, and is considered both a regional power and middle power. It has the 15th largest nominal GDP. The economy is strongly linked to those of its North American Free Trade Agreement, NAFTA, partners, especially the United States. Mexico ranks sixth in the world and first in the Americas by number of UNESCO World Heritage Sites with 32, and in 2013 was the 10th most visited country in the world with 23 million international arrivals per year. According to Goldman Sachs, by 2050, Mexico is expected to become the world's fifth largest economy.
1882, Father Michael McGivney founded the Knight of Columbus in Connecticut, the U.S. And he used Christopher Columbus as the patron of the Knights because he was the discoverer of the Americas. As of today, we have 1.8 million members. We are 15,000 councils all over the world. We raise $170 million in um, charities, and we also provided with 70 million hours of volunteer work to the community, to the different communities. Right now, the Knights are in different countries, such as the US, Canada, Mexico, Guatemala, Cuba, Republican, the Dominican Republic, Poland, the Philippines, and South Korea. The Knight of Columbus is a fraternity of Catholic men. You need to be a Catholic, a baptized to join the Knights. And we have, a, through an invitation, and you need to follow a initiation, and you get your first degree to become a Knight. The Knight of Columbus is a, an organization that is oriented through Catholic uh, Church to the community. So we, we hosted different events, such as the Valentine's Dance for families. We also have the Mother's Gala at the high school. And we, in, in those events, we raise money, and we get the money and give it to the Charity Foundation. The nights we are planning to grow one member per month to continue our help to the community and to the church. And as I said, we are 1.8 million uh, members, and through the union of all these members, we can do great things. Wind and water and stone. The water hollowed the stone. The wind dispersed the water. The stone stopped the wind. Water and wind and stone. The wind sculpted the stone. The stone is a cup of water. The water runs off and is wind. Stone and wind and water. The wind sings in its turnings. The water murmurs as it goes. The motionless stone is quiet. Wind and water and stone. One is the other and is neither. Among their empty names, they pass and disappear. Water and stone and wind.
CWL stands for Catholic Women's League of Canada. CWL is a national organization rooted in gospel values, calling his members through holiness, through the service to people of God. CWL was founded in 1920 and granted federal incorporation in 1923. One of the most important things about CWL is that it's officially recognized by the Canadian Conference of Catholic Bishops as a lay association of women and it's affiliated with the World Union of Catholic Women's League organization, the International Catholic Organization, and most important, that has consultative status with agencies in the United Nations. Actually, we are 91,000 members in Canada. We are divided from national to provinces, diocesan level, and parishes and I am the past president of Sacred Heart Parish, Victoria. And I'm very proud to show you this pin of 10 years of membership that was given to me actually three years ago. And this is my past president pin, which I wear with honor and pride. Any woman can join our, our association, our CWL, as long as they share our values, which are serve to God, and Canada. We have different programs that are uh, divided in various categories such as spiritual, community life, education and health, resolution and legislation and everybody can participate in this and they are different by parish, diocesan or national levels. Well our future plans are to increase our membership to prepare our celebration for our 75th anniversary, CWL Sacred Heart. And we are going to keep an eye on the world, what's going on, because we want to speak up for those who have been silenced by discrimination, politics, or immorality. We are always praying for everybody.
Cuba Mexico uh, Folklore Dances Association uh, started as an association officially in the year 2013, but actually we've been together since the year 2009. Uh, it's been five years that we are together and we are basically a group of friends uh, of all ages that uh, enjoy dancing and we have some appreciation for Mexico and, and her culture, either because we are Mexican by birth or because we just enjoy Mexico. <laughs> And uh, we like to share a, 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 like a bit of, uh, of the Mexican culture in the, in the city of, uh, of Victoria where we live and show, uh, of course we are proud of all the Mexican culture, right? But the, in particular of uh, the music, very energetic music, the dancing that's uh, also very energetic and very fun and people enjoy that and we enjoy doing it, of course. And, and also the costumes, for example, what I'm wearing today, uh, this is the national costume of, of Mexico that we call the tarro suit. And you may know it from the mariachis, for example, or, or uh, other, other Mexican culture uh, events. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's, that's what we do. <laughs> composed of a different variety of members. We're a very inclusive association in which we have no difference for age or background. So we have children that are aged from 6 to about 11 years old. And we also have adults that are from 20-something years old to about 74. So anyone that is interested in learning about our association and wanting to come and see us and perhaps join, in, join us, the only thing that we require is that you have the willingness to learn and want to come and get to know us. We have uh, several projects that we are working on them right now and we have two of them specifically that we're hoping to have completed by the end of uh, May. So the first one is um, the Aztecs dances, which is the dances that were danced in Mexico before the, the Spanish came to Mexico. In this case, it would be the First Nations. So that's the first one that we're working on and that we're wanting to have ready by the end of May. We're also working on a different dance that is from the province of Sinaloa, which is on the west coast of Mexico. And we're on the process of making costumes and working on rehearsals in order to get a brand new program for um, the end of May. Este es el gallito pino, este es el gallo jugado, amar. 
pollitas porque es un gallo aventado Yo les digo a las pollitas que tengan mucho cuidado Si bailan con el gallito no bailen muy apretado Este gallito es muy bueno por eso lo bailan todos Lo bailan de caballito cuando lo toca el recodo Thanks for joining us today. I hope you had a great time. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Hasta luego.